Hey, Jason Craft here, and uh, today I figured I'd film something since it's been a while. I've been kind of busy. Uh, like every one of you, most of you, probably seen Avengers, and uh, I thought Iron Man was pretty cool, so I decided to uh, build my own Iron Man suit. So uh, this is what I've got so far. I've been working on this since May, and it is now February, and I'm only about halfway done, so each part has taken a while. Um, I've been using or creating these through a process with uh, Pepikira. It's a Chinese form of paper craft, so uh, what I've done is I found a 3D model of Iron Man on the internet, printed it up on paper, cut out the pieces, and glued the pieces together to form a 3D piece like this. And then, after it's glued together, I've been using cardboard stock for that, I would coat it with a two-part plastic. Uh, this is what I'm using. Epoxamite 100 with some fast hardener. It hardens kind of like a fiberglass, you know. I thought about using fiberglass, but I did not want to deal with the fumes. And this is fumeless, so that's why I chose this. And then from that point, after coating it in plastic, I move into the bondo phase. Just using ordinary car bondo. These are some unfinished pieces that I've just coated in bondo, but uh, have not finished yet. Uh, these are the thighs, shins, pelvis area, and then up here we got the shoe that I've yet to finish. I got it started. Altered this one from the 3D file that I originally had, so it pivots and it's more like a shell that fits over your shoe. And then from there, I smooth out the pieces using sandpaper, using a sander, and then maybe using a file to file over rounded edges to make them smooth. Uh, let's take a look at this. So this is the inside. I coated the inside with, well, you can't see it because it's been painted over or primed over, but the interior of it, I lined with uh, fiberglass cloth. And then I coated that. So it's pretty rigid. It's a rigid suit. It's, you're not gonna damage this. You can still damage it, but uh, you know, it, it's pretty hard. It's pretty solid. But uh, yeah, I can still chip since, you know, it's just Bondo and it's made up of multiple layers of paper, plastic, Bondo, and all that stuff. Uh, this is the back. Uh, and then we got the shoulder pads. Left and right side. We've got the chest area, which I think turned out pretty well. And then we got the abdominal section, which I think turned out really well. Also, these all come out pieces, which I hope I can figure out a way to kind of combine them all. This way uh, I can bend freely more so in the abdominal section. Uh, these would be the sides. This would be the back. And we got a sp the spinal area which would fall in this section right here at the back. And we got the shoulder pads again on the other side and the biceps 
and forearms. And then this would be the elbow. Uh, since some of these pieces can get quite heavy, I figured I'd probably uh, do some roto casting of the pieces. So this way I have duplicates of the pieces and I won't have to worry about damaging the suits and of course they'd be lighter pieces. So yeah these would be my originals and uh, plan on making duplicates maybe so I can have a suit that you know is uh, battle worn. Uh, over here I got some roto casting supplies so I can take molds just got that stuff the other day. So that will be my new skill I have to pick up. Uh, over here, yeah, the start of a mannequin. Haven't finished yet, ran out of duct tape. But all this is is uh, some piping and some joints. And I've stuffed it with paper. Uh, this will be chest support which that's another piece I still need to finish but uh really that's my progress so far I imagine probably another six to eight months working on this thing hopefully it doesn't take that long but uh yeah I'm pretty happy with it and uh, if you guys got any questions just ask and I'll try to answer them Later.